Welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics Introduction to Using the Personal Planner in Axiom. This video is intended to give you a solid foundation to the various modules of the Personal Planner. In a nutshell, you can think of the Personal Planner as a portal to the various academic and clinical activities that will stack up while using Axiom. For example, in the Personal Planner you can view your unapproved procedures, faculty can approve those procedures, you can monitor your patient's ongoing treatment, and more. Unlike several other features in Axiom, which give you information about a single selected patient, such as the EHR or the perio chart, with the Personal Planner you can view information about multiple patients at once. So the Personal Planner is a good resource for both housekeeping tasks as well as snapshots of your workload and productivity. When you open the Personal Planner, the default view is the List tab. Within this window are several different tabs and input fields, which we will go through one by one in this video. Before we get started, though, I should point out that not everyone has the same access level in the Personal Planner. Faculty, for instance, can view a student provider's unapproved procedures by clicking on the ellipsis next to the provider field, finding the student, and clicking on the magnifying glass. Conversely, a student can view only their own unapproved procedures. So while going through this video, just keep in mind that different user levels have different access privileges some of which may not be available to you. Staying in the Unapproved Procedures tab, you'll notice there are two dates on the top right of the window which are inactive. While these parameters can be edited in other tabs, this access has been disabled for all users here because faculty and students should be aware of all outstanding procedures regardless of date. Most, if not all, procedures have some degree of time sensitivity with regard to billing, so it's best to be aware of all unapproved procedures rather than an incomplete selection. If faculty is present, items in the Unapproved tab can be approved by right-clicking on the treatment that you want approved and selecting Approve Item. Axiom will prompt for faculty credentials and they can approve the selected procedure if it behooves them. The next tab in the List view is Assigned Patients. Clicking on the magnifying glass will show you all of the patients that are currently linked to your provider ID. The date range in this tab is editable, so if you want to see your assigned patients for a given time frame, a particular semester or year, for example. You can enter the relevant dates and search that span of time. Otherwise, by default, clicking on the magnifying glass will show your assigned patients from one week on either side of the current date. The Appointments tab is similar to the Patients tab as it will display all current and upcoming appointments. Again, you can change the date range to see what a particular span of time looks like if you want. With each appointment, you can also see the patient's basic demographics, the date of the appointment, the length of the appointment, the clinic where the patient will be or has been seen, and the reason for the visit. If you want to know more about an appointment, you can right-click to bring up more view options, such as adding or removing planned treatment to the appointment, viewing the appointment in the scheduler, and more. The Chart Request tab is an obsolete feature that was used for tracking paper charts, and the Patient Needs tab is also not used this time, as all needs are entered on the patient's card and can be viewed in their EHR in the Alerts box. Overdue patients is not often used as it is set up with functionality limited to patients who are past their recommended appointment date. In the future, this feature may be expanded if faculty and students find it to be useful. And the dispensary is also not used at this time. The Lab Orders tab shows you all outstanding labs and gives you basic information on the order, most importantly the status of the lab. If you want to go deeper, you can double-click on a lab which will open up the Lab Orders Detail window and is the same window that you use when creating a lab form. If the lab is already checked out, as the LD2740 is here, you can see an expected due back date. And finally, the Assigned Forms tab shows students and faculty every open form they have created or has been assigned to them for patients both past and present. A form listed in blue text is unapproved and still requires faculty or patient approval. The rest of the Personal Planner is not as frequently used, but still contains lots of useful information. Your provider summary shows treatment breakdowns by clinic and billing amounts of your procedures to date. The chart is broken down by clinic, procedure performed count, RVU credits, payment and reimbursement information, and a bar graph visualizing the financial information. A quick note about navigating the PDF reports in the following tabs. You can use the arrows to move to the previous or next page in a series, print, export to various file formats such as Excel and PDF, and search in the document for a keyword. 
Your patient family contact info tab is pretty self-explanatory, but in case it isn't, this tab displays all of the patients assigned to you and their various phone numbers. Continued care monitoring also shows all of your active patients, but with appointment and exam information. This is a useful chart to quickly view where all of your patients are in their treatment process. Remember, this and the next few reports contain protected health information, so if you choose to print them out, they should be handled in compliance with HIPAA regulations, including unauthorized access and secure disposal. The blurred areas in the next few tabs are where PHI will be found. Hygiene patient monitoring provides appointment, profi, and perio information. Like the continued care chart, the hygiene chart gives you a snapshot of where your patients are in their treatment. Both the continued care and hygiene monitoring charts are good to help you plan for treatment. The Plan Treatment tab is another straightforward tab that shows all of your assigned patients with the planned treatment in one concise location. The Production Report by Provider tab is a powerful, customizable report that allows you to view information spanning both procedure codes and date ranges. So if you want to see a certain range of codes performed during a certain time frame, this is where you can find that information. The first thing you'll do is choose the start and end dates for the time frame you'd like to view. Next, you can choose a single code, a consecutive range of codes, or a combination of both. So if you want to see all the 4,000 level codes you performed at a given time, you can enter the date and code ranges. Click Add to add the code or code range into the search queue, and when you click OK, you'll get a report matching these criteria. The last tab is your assigned patients list, which shows you your patients and their type. The same patient may show up on this list multiple times if they are seen in different clinics. Note that Sooner Schooner is listed twice, once for AEGD and once for Blue Clinic. As mentioned earlier, if you want to search by name or keyword, you can enter it in the box at the top and click the binoculars. So if you wanted to find an active patient, you could type in active, click the binocular, and active will be highlighted. This concludes the introduction to using the personal planner in Axiom. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new video updates. If you have any questions or would like to schedule further training, you can call the Dental Informatics Office at 55481 or stop by room 361 in the College of Dentistry. Thanks for watching.